Are you having communication issues between the Tech2 and the PC? Stick around to find out why. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Tech2 for Dummies episode 10. It's been a while, I know, but now we're back. And today's topic is the communication between the Tech2 and the PC. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Marcus and this is Subcarts. And Tech2 for Dummies has been running for a while now. And if you haven't seen the other episodes, I suggest you go and watch number one here. And that's an introduction to the Tech2 instrument. Most of the questions I get regarding that the communication is failing between the Tech2 and the PC is related to this little guy here in blue. And that's the converter that converts the old serial interface in the Tech2 to a modern interface in the PC, and that's USB. This comes from different manufacturers and it have, has uh, different chipsets. There's a site online and that's tech2wiki.com. I suggest you go there, scroll through their page and they have a lot of tips and tricks and DIYs. And they also have a great list of adapters that work and adapters that don't work. So go online and look for the adapter that works if you have a adapter that don't work. And it's very important that you get the right chipset. A chipset that is uh, very reliable is something that is called FTDI. So go ahead and look on the Tech2 wiki page for that. Thing is that with the new generation 9.3 you want to request security access and that's when you need this. And also if you need to download software from the computer through the Tech2 to the car. You you want a really reliable connection. So make sure you get an adapter that's reliable because you may end up breaking a module in the car and that's not something that we wish. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and keep tech doing guys. I'll see you in the next one.